past 48 hours been crazy. It's been a crazy 48 hours. And you know what? I'm going to give y'all a nickname. I'm going to call y'all the J. Cole Crybabies. Because <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all, I ain't never seen a rapper have his fan base literally make up so many excuses on why this dude don't want to compete in the, in, the, in the lyrical octagon with Kendrick Lamar. All day long, I've been seeing all y'all, especially his female base, y'all been sitting there writing think pieces. Y'all sitting there writing soliloquies. Y'all sitting there writing essays about why J. Cole shouldn't get in the ring with Kendrick Lamar. Y'all sitting there acting like this dude is going to our, going to Compton on a, on a dummy mission to find Kendrick Lamar and snuff him out. Y'all, this is the problem with the internet. Y'all have so much extremism. And the thing is, the battle is in the so-called battle that these guys are in, which is Drake, Kendrick Lamar, and J. Cole. This shit ain't going to no streets. This shit is straight up love tapping. If this was something like DJ Quick and MCA, I can see that. Because these two are gang affiliated. So... All of a sudden, people coming in, even going as far as say, oh, if you don't understand peace, you don't understand energy. I'm like, I'm going to tell you all this. This hip hop discussion is not for y'all. Take your asses back to discussing Beyonce's country album. Take your asses back and discussing Rihanna and ASAP Rocky relationship. Take your asses back and discussing... Sierra and Russell Wilson because when it comes to this hip hop shit a lot of y'all ain't built for it and it shows in y'all responses because especially y'all to y'all females no disrespect to the female hip hop heads they understand what I'm saying but I'm talking about all y'all that's just now getting into this and y'all want to sit there and be on your, your hormones and talk about where this battle should go J. Cole went out like a chump and I'm going to stand on that because there's no way you can sit there, get on another song and throw subliminal shots at another man. And when that man respond, you respond with a record. And all of a sudden, you want to wave the white flag. Like, no, I don't want to do this no more. Like, which one, which one is it? Because the other day, y'all was sitting there talking about, oh, man, he's son Kendrick Lamar. Oh, man, this battle going to be crazy. Now, all of a sudden, y'all want to get on some Umar Johnson type shit and talk about, man, we need to talk about we need to talk about the economy. We need to talk about coming together in peace and love. Man, fuck all that shit. Y'all the same ones that be laughing at 50 Cent shenanigans every single day. I be seeing y'all hitting that like button. Y'all be hitting that laugh in joy every time 50 go at somebody. So then you want to come at us, talk about, well, we disrupting the community because we want to see a battle between two rappers. Get out of here with that bullshit. Y'all don't belong in these discussions, man. Y'all do not belong in these discussions. Y'all need to take y'all asses back to Shade Room and discuss what Young Miami is doing. Meg the Stallion. Y'all need to discuss relationship shit because this hip-hop battle talk is not for y'all. And I'm talking to y'all niggas too. Everybody making excuses for J. Cole. Nah, you went at that man's catalog. You knew what you was doing. You got scared. Of what was to come. Because you already know Kendrick Lamar is a battle tested rapper. Kendrick Lamar goes back to 2010. The monster freestyle. Go back to that. Look that up. Tell him off the cuff radio sent you. If, if, and do that. Boost those numbers up. You knew what was coming. But the J. Cole crybabies. As they say. Oh, you know you got the Cody crybabies. Now you got the J. Cole crybabies. Y'all making all kinds of excuses for this man. Like, this is one of the worst moves and most disrespectful moves in hip-hop right here. And I'm not taking it away from J. Cole as an artist. He's a brilliant artist. Dope spitter. I love the quality work that he puts out. But he, he, he dropped the ball. He took the L today. There's no, I don't care how you're going to guilt shame it. I don't care how you're going to get mad. This shit looks bad. 
And the thing is, the battle itself is not to that context. I can see if it was some street shit involved. I can see that. I can see if it was even bad, like Lil Durk, the NBA young boy. I can see that because of the street element. But this shit ain't street. But yeah, the, 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 the J. Cole crybabies coming in. Well, he need to protect his peace. Get your motherfucking ass out of the octagon and go rap and do, and do the gospel rap lane then if you don't want to do this, son. Take your ass to R&B. If you don't want to get in this shit, stop saying that you the goat, you the king, all this shit. Stop saying that. Stay in your lane. Do what D1 is doing and don't get in there in that jungle. Don't get in the ring. That's all we saying. Because this battle rap shit, battle records is totally different. It's totally different. And y'all ain't ready for this discussion. So anybody, all the J. Cole crybabies, go back to Shade Room. Go back to Spiritual World. Go back to talking about um, Rihanna's dress. Because this hip-hop shit ain't built for y'all. And I'm standing on it. So anybody want to get mad? Don't let King Eric drop some gospel on your bitch asses. <laughs> That's exactly what we doing. As we quote the final boss, The Rock. I had to drop some gospel on y'all. Like, this, this, this hip-hop thing is pure to us. And when somebody, I don't care who it is, is shaking the integrity of it. It's a problem. And J. Cole, love his music, love what he does for the culture, love the Dream Hill Festival that he's done, not taking away anything that this man has brought to the game. But he dropped the ball here, and I'm standing on that. So this is King Eric signing out. Let me know what you guys think of this, this statement. I want some of the J. Cole crybabies to say something. Let me know. Holler.